Hey boys, this is Matt from Design Engine. We are doing a training with JW Speaker, the headlight manufacturer and uh, OEM supplier to Harley Davidson uh, this week. And we did an introductory Creole class. I'd like to show you a couple moves that, uh, that we went over during the course of the week, uh, particularly with, with regard to rounds. So uh, first little bit was the order in which rounds go in that, that matters, and particularly the placement of them. Uh, if I go in and evoke the round tool, this is uh, an exercise that we do in our level one class. We look at this bench top vise, and what uh, most people without any um, uh, uh, knowledge of, of surface modeling or um, maybe they haven't taken a, a proper training class in CAD, they'll go in and they'll they'll click uh, and build a you know and build a selection set by using every individual uh, b selecting every little edge in here in order to get some of these rounds to go on so that's one two three four five six you know many different clicks you know many different edges that are added in here let's remove all those and do it again here left click I'm holding control on the keyboard second left click third left click fourth left click and that that'll that'll put the round on there just fine uh, but it's it's not necessarily going to um, you know make it in a robust manner so if we can set these up with a little bit of uh, idea toward uh, tangency and creating a tangent condition among these uh, surfaces then it sets us up for success and minimizing our chances of, of having the model go into a fail mode let's uh, take that one out of there delete this one and let's put in the rounds that are going to transverse the model uh, they're going to go run from the back to the front let's put those ones in first we'll put one in over there left click second left click here and a third left click so that's actually let's put them set them up over there on this other side right use that right mouse button to cycle through and find that that edge over there where these can all be controlled with the same numeric value 0.125 let that exist as a singular round feature here in in the, in the product and then come in with a secondary round feature choose that big edge and notice that it's going to run all the way down because those this these surfaces are now tangent to each other they're no longer sitting in their positional stick around uh, after the the break here where we hear from JW speaker and we'll show you some more advanced techniques with with rounds as well My name is Brandon Yar. Um, I work for JW Speaker in Germantown, Wisconsin, and I came to Design Engine to uh, get a better understanding of Creo. At JW Speaker, we make uh, high end LED lighting, um, mostly in the automotive and material handling industries. Precision optics driven by high quality LEDs is what makes us stand out. Design Engine is located in an awesome place downtown with lots to offer. Um, it's been really great getting helpful hints from the guys as to what to do you know, after work is done. My experience at Design Engine has been great. Uh, I was a little leery of it at first, uh, getting into it, or, or coming here without knowing exactly what I was getting into. I was worried that it would be a, a basic introductory course, which wasn't what I was, uh, what I needed. And being here, being with Matt, it turned out to be exactly what I needed, and got me not only back to my, to building good basic skills, but also building up those advanced skills that I'm going to need as well. I definitely learned stuff I'm going to apply at work on Monday. Um, as far as specific techniques, um, learning shortcuts and map keys and things that are going to save time, and then repeating those here in in Design Engine while I'm going through this stuff has really given me the confidence that I can go faster than I have in the past and get more done, and that's really going to make a difference.
Compared to a typical classroom setting, this is very, very laid back and very uh, student oriented as opposed to having a specific curriculum that you have to accomplish within a certain amount of time. Um, while there were those goals, um, it was more based on how fast you were moving through the through the program and then touching on key points along the way and it was it was a great learning environment. Matt has been great the whole time. Uh, he's very personable um, and he really connected on a one-on-one a one -on -one basis and uh, brought things to the table and related them to things that I understand. Uh, for instance, we were talking about motorcycles and cars and that was right up my alley and seeing how that related to what we were doing on the screen made a, made a big difference attaching all that to something tangible. I definitely recommend Design Engine to anybody from beginner to advanced users. I think the wealth of knowledge that's here is probably beyond uh, most other places that you can get. So I'm very happy and I definitely recommend it. All right, team, let's take a look at this, uh, this vice one more time here. Uh, and with respect to rounds, let's get these rounds out of here before and look at a little more some of the more detailed features of of the round there it is the round tool right up there uh, and with regard to getting in here with um, with three separate edges where we have a confluence right there one thing that pro engineer uh, is, is very good at is managing this the transition up here if we just tick over to uh, transition mode right in here select that transition choose you know we can and then manipulate that that how that's going to come together depending on the size of let's evoke that and start to pull this pull this out really manage you know that surface transition in there there we would get into a fail mode a little bit Give it a preview. See if we like how it, that's looking. Take a look here. Let's redefine it a little bit. Really have that start to ride out a little closer toward that end. Give it a very different character with regard to how these surfaces come together, and that leads us into even in an introductory class like what we did here with with JW Speaker this week. Um, shoot, just choose all these surfaces, and you know we can get into some more advanced techniques here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left clicks, nine left clicks to evoke that, and then we uh, get in here and get into some of the uh, by just by getting the mouse on on each one of those surfaces you know, we understand how it's how it's starting to behave color that a little differently so it starts to blend out ever so slightly and that yeah that's got a very different uh, different attribute to a different way to control those rounds uh, look us up next time at designengine.com and we look forward to you know come visit us in Chicago we'd love to have you